What do you find your security in? I mean, really, what makes you like feel at peace? What is it that maybe you look at when you're feeling, I don't know, a little anxious? If you have something in your life that you're finding security in, do you realize that you're finding security in it? I think many times there are things we put our security in, the way that we feel safe. We, we, we put our security in it, helps us feel secure, and we don't even realize it. Uh, so I want you to really ask yourself the question today, what causes me to feel safe? I'm going to be honest with you. I, there are several things that help me feel safe. One is all my family being together. When we're together, everything's good. I know where everyone is. I feel safe. I feel at peace. I don't have anxiety rising up. And yet sometimes whenever we're far apart from each other, I have this anxiety that just rises up in me. Uh, another thing that I find a lot of security in, and I believe many of us do, though we wouldn't describe it as security all the time, we put a lot of security on what our bank accounts look like. Maybe in the job we can maintain and hold. Maybe in the fact that we have a house or a roof over our head. The truth is, as an American, it's very easy to put our security into those things. As a human, it's very easy to put our security and find safety in a bank account that looks pretty good and a house that's not falling apart and actually protecting us in our families being together and in a good mood. But Jesus and the Word of God does not call us to find our security in these things. It says that God should be the source of our security. So in Psalm 121 verses 5 and 8, our verse for the day, it says this, the Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep your going out and your coming in from this time forth and forevermore. You see, it's not our financial financial security that actually makes us secure. It's not the security of a house that we can lock the door on to make us secure. As Christ followers, it's not even having a put-together family that gets along well and is together and loves each other. That is our security. We find our security in these good things, and they are that good things. But it is not what keeps us. The Lord will keep us. Meditate on this today and ask yourself the question, what am I finding security in? Another challenging question for you today might be this. What are some practical ways that we can shift our sense of security from wealth to God? Let me launch into a time of prayer and reflection. Lord, I pray that you would help us to understand how you are our security. You are our keeper. You are the one who holds us in your hand. And though there are many things around us that help us feel safe, Lord, may we put all of our security, all of our safety into your hands. Lord, for you hold us, you keep us, whether it's day or night, whether we're coming or going. Lord, I pray you would remind us today that you keep us and you, in you we can find security that lasts for eternity. It's in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Peace, friends.